What's going on guys? This is Dr. Andreoni from Cannabis Doctors of Florida. So what's the deal with Delta 8 THC? Delta 8 THC is a cannabinoid that's pretty much identical to the more commonly known Delta 9 THC. Just like Delta 9 THC, Delta 8 THC is produced naturally in the cannabis plant, but only in really small amounts, typically within the 0.1% range. Sometimes you might see 1%, but these are the exceptions. When produced naturally, CBG is the beginning compound for Delta 8 THC, just like it is for all the other cannabinoids. Even still, in order to economically extract Delta 8 THC from the plant, you'd need at least like a 15% 20 yield. So basically, it's unprofitable to extract it naturally. As a result, most of the Delta 8 THC that we have available today on the market is synthesized from CBD and honestly it's because there was just too much CBD in the market. So let's take a closer look at Delta 8 THC and Delta 9 THC. To quote Dr. Marshallum, Delta 8 THC is an isomer of Delta 9 THC from which it differs only in the position of its double bond. If you're thinking to yourself, damn they really do look alike, you're right. All right so then if you're thinking to yourself, well if they look alike, wouldn't they produce the same effects? You're also right. So more on that. Dr. Mishalom discovered Delta-8 THC in the 1960s and he noted the following. The stereochemistry of the two isomers is identical. Their chemical behavior in most cases, very similar. Their metabolism in vivo and in vitro follow the same pathways. The major chemical difference between them is that Delta-9 THC is easily oxidized to the biologically inactive cannabinol. However, Delta-8 THC is stable. It does not oxidize the cannabinol and it has a very long shelf life. Due to their close structural similarities, Delta 8 THC and Delta 9 THC present essentially identical pharmacologic profiles. Quantitatively, however, Delta 8 THC is twice less potent than Delta 9 THC in most but not all pharmacologic tests. So put in layman's terms, Delta 8 THC is psychoactive, but apparently it's less psychoactive than Delta 9 THC. And what's more, many adult users report Delta 8 THC to provide many of the same effects or relief as Delta 9 THC without the adverse effects, but this is not always the case. And actually, it's not always a bad thing. Dr. Michellum did give Delta 8 THC to kids with hematologic malignancies for the side effects of chemotherapy. And surprisingly, it was tolerated very well with minimal adverse events happening and the kids succeeded through the whole trial. So the process of converting CBD to Delta 8 THC is called isomerization. Actually, this has been around for decades, and not surprisingly, Dr. Michelle and his colleagues have a patent on one of the variations of this process. So the process of converting CBD to Delta-8 THC involves refluxing CBD in an organic solvent and with an acid that serves as a catalyst. You're basically closing the ring on the CBD molecule. All right, so is Delta-8 THC even legal? The 2018 Farm Bill legalized all hemp production and everything in the composition of hemp other than Delta-9 THC, of which hemp must contain below 0.3%. This is the standard for hemp on the federal level. So CBD, CBC, CBG, and every other cannabinoid, including Delta-8 THC, besides Delta-9 THC, are legal. Under state jurisdiction, however, the legality varies and we're not gonna get into that. However, the DEA may be coming after Delta-8 THC soon. On August 20th, they released the implementation of the Agriculture Improvement Act of 2018, which would make the production of Delta-8 THC illegal. The proposed regulations label all synthetically derived THCs as Schedule 1 drugs. So for now, yes, Delta-8 THC is legal, but for how long? I don't know. Regardless of whether Delta-8 THC is legal or not, a lot of scientists and chemists are pretty concerned about the unidentified components that are coming up when they are testing products labeled as Delta-8 THC. So is it safe? Now that's a different story. Commercial Delta-8 THC products may or may not contain more than just Delta-8 THC. It's certainly not approved by the FDA. There's a great article that I'll put in the description below that describes all the concerns that these scientists and chemists have. But basically, unidentified components are showing up when they're testing these products. When converting CBD to Delta-8 THC, they're using strong acids and a bunch of other things that need to be removed from the end product that aren't being removed. And we don't know the health risks that these pose. This article was written last year, so hopefully the practices have improved since then. But at the end of the day, it really boils down to this. Are these companies separating the other end byproducts from the Delta 8 THC safely and effectively for us consumers? Because when synthesized and isolated correctly and safely, Delta 8 THC does have a pretty good safety profile and potential for therapeutic use as we saw in Dr. Michelle's study. But I can't stress this enough, Please make sure you are very selective on which Delta 8 THC products that you do want to use. Please do your research on the companies, see which ones are taking what kind of care to do everything correctly. Because there are still plenty of adverse reports noted, at least on the FDA website with Delta 8 THC, so this is not really something to take lightly. 
look to see which companies are synthesizing and separating their products safely, and basically what steps in added care are they taking to assure high quality CBD for us. All right guys, so to summarize, Delta 8 THC is an isomer of Delta 9 THC. It is psychoactive. And yes, it can be produced naturally within the cannabis plant, but the majority, if not entirety, of Delta 8 THC in commerce today is derived from CBD. When converting CBD to Delta 8 THC, yes, you can get a high yield of Delta 8 THC, but it's all the other impurities that we're worried about. Again, the FDA has not approved Delta 8 THC for consumption. And like we touched on before, there could be some medical uses for it, but only in the right setting, and the CBD or Delta 8 commerce is not one of them. Regardless, it is still legal for now, so there's that. I hope this helped. I'll see you next time.